You want to be an FA? Do you want to see the world? Hi lovies, I'm FA Ina and welcome to my channel. Okay, so nagsimula ako talking to cabin crew aspirants when this photo that I made of Aladdin and Jasmine went viral in Facebook using my personal account. Okay, so and dami biglang pumasok na messages sa messenger ko from young ladies all over the Philippines asking me kung madali bang makapasok as an FA. Ano yung mga ano ba yung course na kailangan mong kunin para maging FA ka? And they've just been telling me talaga na I really want to be an FA like you. Nakakatuwa lang. So, kaya parang gusto ko lang na, na to continue doing this, you know, talking to them, inspiring them. Kasi yung feeling talaga na parang gusto nila maging katulad mo, iba, nakakatuwa, nakakataba ng puso. Okay, so yung madalas na tinatanong sa akin um, is kung ano yung course na kailangan mo to graduate from para makapasok ka as an FA. Ang sabi ko sa kanila, wala. You can be a graduate of any course. Hindi kailangan tourism, hindi kailangan HRM. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think I read it from somewhere. You have to correct me if I'm wrong, ha, whoever is concerned about this. Uh, what do you call this? Pagka nakagraduate ka na ng K-12, pwede ka nang mag-apply as an FA sa PAL. So you don't have to actually graduate from college. Kasi ano, I remember kasi when I was a... Uh, when I was in basic class, yung training namin for initial cabin crew recruitment. Recruitment. Okay, um, ano yun eh, para kailangan um, at least naka two years ka sa college. So, yun nga, nung time ko, I was 23 back then. Um, dapat nakatapos ka or nakapa, nakapag two years ka at least sa college. So, nung time na nag nasa basic class ako meron akong classmate na who's 19 and 18 years old they're the youngest sa batch namin so yung 19 years old actually naging ano ko yung best friend ko yun <laughs> and then yung 18 years old naman uh, she continued her career sa with Emirates and they both became great FAs as in so, pag pumasok ka as cabin crew you will have to undergo intensive training for months as in, everyday exams, passing grade is 90%. Ito yung mga bagay na hindi mo pa na-encounter, not even in college, ha. Like, for example, yun nga, yung mga aircraft familiarity, um, that time, or until now, I think we have four types of aircraft. Tapos, uh, we have to know the emergency procedure of each aircraft, lahat ng mga emergency equipment, uh, safety features, yung mga safety precautions, and mga unusual occurrences like hijacking, yung mga ganun. So, we, we all have to know how to deal with that. And yung manual namin is actually this thick that time. Kasi hindi pa siya nakasay din nun. So, we have to know it by heart. Like, if yung trainer mo open sa, what do you call this, a certain page, you have to know what's in it. Nakakaloka. Pero nagawa namin yun. Saka, well, we're only human, no? So, misa may nakakalimutan kasi men. That's why every year we have to, we have to have a refresher course. We do recurrent training every year para sa safety and uh, siguro yung service mga one week lang namin yun nilaaral oo, mga one week lang namin inaaral tapos nagkaroon ng qualification again for business class service and saka in every flight pala before we start the flight, the head of the uh, cabin crew, the purser or the head CA um, would be conducting a safety briefing before we take the flight, so that's part of it para ma-review kami, do sa certain type of aircraft na yun, so kasi nga we have a lot of uh, types of aircraft. So, minsan, nalilito na kami eh. Unlike kasi sa mga pilots namin that they only deal with one aircraft. Kami apat. Okay. So, yung isa pang lagi na tatanong is kung mahirap ba mag-apply as flight attendant. Oh, mahirap siya in the sense kasi na you have to undergo four types of screening. Para siyang Bilibini Pilipinas pero ito may, may psychological exam. May medical, may thorough medical examination. Ganun. Meron two types of interview. Um, yung isa is the impact interview yung pinakauna um, dun pala kasi kailangan makita na nila na pwede ka maging FA na pwede ka as FA you know you represent yourself well uh, what do you call this you you look pleasant not necessarily sobrang ganda matangos ang ilong maputi no um, tapos ano lang talaga parang kailangan pleasant looking ka kasi you know everyone will be looking at you all the time pag kuwasa naka uniform ka na sa airport sa loob ng aeroplano right so yeah Tapos yung sunod naman, yung pinakahuli na interview sa the executive 
panel interview, yun naman yung mga higher management naman yung magtatanong sa'yo. Yan. Tapos, tapos kailangan kasi also, you have good social and communication skills. Yan. So, importante kasi yun. Like, uh, you're comfortable talking to other people. You know how to speak well, lalo na sa English, kasi nga you'll be um, talking to a lot of nationalities. Okay, so sabi ko nga dun sa mga nakausap ko na young ladies na nasa mga 16 to 18 years old, ganyan. Sabi ko sa kanila, you have plenty of time to improve yourself and take that opportunity. Kasi if you really want to become an FA, ito talaga yung gusto mangyari. You really have to work hard for it. Kasi kung sasabihin mo sa akin na parang hindi ka naman kasi magaling sa English, yung mga ganun, parang hihiya ka makipag-usap sa tao, magagawa niya ng paraan. You can, you can deal with that. Alam mo parang um, you just have to practice until it becomes natural sa'yo na nakaya mo na. Okay, so um, yun lang yung masasuggest ko. Improve your social and communication skills. Kailangan pagka nakita ka, nakipag-usap ka sa tao or sa magi interview sa iyo para alam mo na alam na alam mo kung ano yung sinasabi mo para yung stand out ka not because of how you look but because of your confidence ganun siya so um i would suggest talaga na you go under um personality development training and also a plus is a first aid yung mga kung meron kang alam ng mga nag, nagtuturo ng first aid kasi misa sa mga barangay meron nun eh parang it's a crash course on first aid you do that kasi it's very important you can put that in your resume you so ganun I just want to wish all of you good luck and stay focused and stay inspired if ito talaga yung gusto ninyong trabaho then just you know keep it in your head na you want this job so you have to improve yourself and para ma maiayon mo yung sarili mo sa gusto mo mangyari sa buhay mo ganun lang siya. Madali siyang sabihin kasi nagawa ko siya. So, so kung meron pa kayong mga questions or mga worries na gusto nyo itanong sa akin or gusto nyo pag-usapan natin, i-message nyo lang ako sa Facebook page ko. Ayan. WanderingMom.ph And um, I'll help you through it. I'll guide you. Walang problema sa akin yun kasi uh, this is a big deal for me. Alright? So I'll see you there sa page ko and uh, till my next video. Mwah! Love you, loveys!